a while now, about two years, uh, my ZX81 has been dead. Deader than a dead thing on a dead day in a dead world on a dead universe. I think you're getting the idea it was dead. Anyway, the cause of this deadness was my own stupidity. Uh, we had lost the adapter, the power adapter, for the ZX81. And I decided I was going to stick a random adapter in, which uh, it turns out I had on the wrong voltage setting, so we had thought that we'd killed it. We tried it a few times till later date, but no life could be found for it. To add insult to injury, on one of my attempts to repair it, I broke the ribbon cable to the keyboard. So, it was completely buggered. But, with my newfound skills, I thought I'd return to the ZX81 and see if I could bring it back to life. Right, here is our Sinclair ZX81, but this is a lie, because it's not actually together, it's in little pieces. Now, there we go, this is the bit we're after, the motherboard. Now the first problem, as I said, uh, it wouldn't appear on the TV, so we, pro we uh, tuned the TV to channel 36, where it should be, using another computer, and switched it on. And this time it actually jumped to life. But there were lines. The picture was at first unsteady and there were lines. Now, to tune a ZX81 if it's drifted like that, uh, and many other computers, uh, they've got the modulator here. And what you need is a jeweler's screwdriver. Usually cost about a quid from Poundland or other places. Very cheap for a little set like <coughs> this one. That cost me 99p, I think, and uh, worth the weight in gold, because you'll use them for loads of stuff if you're repairing stuff. So, all we did is switch it back on and turn this little screw very gently until you get the best picture you can. On many computers, that will solve it, but not on this one. You see, I'm still getting loads of lines across the screen, and I thought, hmm. It's an older piece of kit, it may not work with an LCD TV properly. So, brought it upstairs to the old CRT up here, plugged it in, fine picture. Once it's been retuned slightly, but it's fine. So, that's the tuning problem solved. The next problem we've got, well, the only other problem we've got, is the ribbon cable from the keyboard to the motherboard. It has unfortunately split here but I'm not going to write it off what I'm actually going to do is recreate that see when you put the motherboard the top and the bottom together you can see there there's actually plenty of slack on the cables so I'm going to shorten it and remake another one there Using my trusty old scalpel. Not recommended if you're if your hands shake quite a bit. So that's what I'm going to do now. You can watch. Okay, so here's our ribbon cable. Now this process is going to may leave some scarring on the back of the case, but can't be avoided. And if it gets it working, not too bad. So I'm going to do this, uh, very gently. Let's go down here. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's have a look at this. How is it going to work? Let's have a look. And then, let's go down. I don't think it really matters too much if this bit going back is too big. All that really matters is that it's got the width it needs to go into the port. Hmm. Right, there we go, that's that bit away. I'll scar this again and try and get that bit away. There we go. So, uh, we don't actually need that much depth. This is what it's going into. 
I believe it is, match them up, this right hand side one there, so you actually don't need much depth to get the contact. So, take it just below where it's damaged, try and get it as square as possible, but it's not easy to get anything to go into this space to assist me, so I'm going to have to do it the <coughs> old fashioned way. There we go. Now, I'm very much doubting that this needs to be precise, so we need to do is be able to get it into that hole and get a good contact. So, excuse my arm in the way of the camera, but there we go. So the next thing, I'm going to try and get that back mated with this. Mated. Pretty good. Right. Okay. So, how are we going to do this? So what I'm going to do, 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 do that way. Okay, there's that one. I may have to move this around. So I shall put them back together and Okay, it's package. not in uh, yet, but just a little progress update. Uh, it seems needed more of this cutting back than I thought, so I've just cut that back a bit, a bit further. The other problem I'm having is this cable wants to push into this one all the time. And obviously this one's short. So I'm having to do that sort of thing in the case. And uh, it's a good job I've cleaned the, turned the camera off while I'm trying this because it is fiddly and I may have said a few swear words. But I shall be right back. Right, so it's back together in one piece and uh, that's the bit I cut off. I had to do some more trimming just to get it a little bit narrower so to go in the gap. Now I can't show you what I've done because it's so fiddly and I had to keep the board in position, keep the top on as it would fall to bits and it all came out again. So. I'm now going to plug it in, see if we've had success. Before I reattach the keyboard, it will come on, but it will just sort of have a little K in the corner, which I assume means keyboard. So, we're going to see, aren't we? I'll be right back. Okay, one of the problems with the ZX... ZX is not ZX, if, you know, like those grammar heathens from across the pond, say. It's ZX. Uh, anyway. One of the problems with the ZX is getting modern uh, power supplies in because they're at right angle and it doesn't allow you. So I've had to undo the case just to get the bloody power supply in. And if I just reset her, hopefully, yes, there it is. You can see on the screen, you can't really see, just zoom in a little. There we go. There we go. Nice K. And with that, we can go load. There we go, and seems to work. Sort of. There we go. That must be the loading screen. I forget, but it does work. So, uh, basically, it's working. I need to find it. Uh, ZX Spectrum. My power supply, which I think I've got next door. Let me have a look. Okay, luckily, I found her original adapter, which I put in there. Replaced the <coughs> two screws that are left from the original. I'm going to find some more screws. Hopefully, I've got some in the Geek Labs toolbox. Now, as you can see on the tally, or oh, perhaps you can't see, let's have a look. Okay, I do apologise for this, it's on the CRT. Uh, now, I suspect these lines here are a fault of the TV, because I do know that this uh, TV has a power issue. I'll check that on the CRT downstairs. Uh, because those lines didn't appear on the CRT. Not those lines, other lines, but not those ones. I think that's a power issue with the TV. But, here we go, it's uh, got it working. Let's have a look. That'll be Twitter. Let's have a look at her running. Run. Uh, go. Hello. 
There we go. So it works. Excellent. Uh, oh. Incoming message. And that's an email or a text message. One other thing that I'm going to show you on this one, Afro Yigo, is something I did with the Amstrad but didn't show in the video because I didn't think about it till afterwards. But I'm going to wax her. Oh yes, show you how I do that. So, back to the computer itself. Right, okay, to give the old uh, ZX a nice finish, I'm just using normal hard coax. And this in particular is turtle wax, I don't know. Uh, do, 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 yeah, turtle wax. So, all I'm doing, there are some precautions to take with this. Not that it'll damage it, but you might get an annoying thing if not. Right. I'm just waxing on and waxing off, but I am avoiding the signs because if this sign dries in those signs or the grooves, it's going to be a case of white stuff everywhere. So try and avoid any grooves as you would in your car. And this should do a lovely job and make it look like new. Just get a bit more. Go to the bottom. Can you see? So it's wandering away from camera there, aimlessly. And oh yeah. And then take a fresh cotton bud. Makes it smell nice too. Mmm. And take it straight off before it dries, because that's when it starts to strike white. And you don't want that. There we go. Now that it's uh, spread it nicely over everywhere now. So take it back on. And there we go, look at that. Yeah, watching me waxing, isn't it fascinating? Hey. There we go. Try not to touch it because my hands are covered in the stuff at the moment. And let me just make it hanger. But there we go. Look at that. Lovely. Bought it up a very nice shine. Looks like new. Mm -hmm. There we go. So that's one way to clean them up. Nice, eh? So, there's the ZX81 working once again. Thank you. Get over there. Thank you very, very much.